We say estimate the heat release rate of a 10 meter diameter gasoline pool fire. Where from table 9.6 in the book, the asymptotic mass flux is 0 0.055 kilograms per meter squared second, and the K beta term is 2.1 meters to the negative 1 power. So we can say heat release rate is Q dot double prime. No, this heat release rate is equal to the sum efficiency term times our mass loss flux times the area of the pool times the heat of combustion. So we know our heat of combustion from the earlier in the notes is for gasoline is 43.7 kilojoules per gram. So we go 1,000 grams over 1 kilogram. And we want to do this unit change because notice this is in kilograms. This is equal to 43.7 times 10 to the third. Kilojoules per kilogram. And then we need to know our we need to know our mass flux. So this is equal to our, our asymptotus max flux times one minus the exponential of negative k beta d. Now this is exponential. Not the letter E on your calculator. No, it's not the letter E. Okay, so if you look on your calculator, usually the exponential term is in yellow, or you have to push second or something, and it's E to the X, or E raised to the power, or something like that. It's not just letter E. E is just a storage variable term, so it probably has some number associated with it but it's not an exponential so if you if you aren't familiar with exponential I'd say google it or look it up on YouTube and someone will likely explain it to you as this lecture is getting a little long I'm gonna move on so m dot double prime is, in this case is going to be equal to a 0 0.055 kilogram per meter squared second times 1 minus the exponential of negative 2.1 times 10. So this is going to be equal to 0 0.055 kilograms per meter squared second times 1 minus, so if I do the exponential, exponential of negative 2.1 times 10, this is equal to 7.58 times 10 to the negative 10th. So it's a really small number. So that means m dot double prime is equal to 0 0.055 kilograms per meter squared second. So we have a smaller diameter. If this is a smaller diameter, then this number is not trivial. So just because in this case, it doesn't change doesn't mean that it always doesn't change. We need to know the area. The area of the pool is equal to pi over 4 times diameter squared. So that's area of the pool is equal to pi over 4 times 10 squared is equal to pi over 4 times 10 squared 78 0.5 meters squared. So our heat release rate is equal to, uh, let's say our efficiency is 1, we'll just assume the efficiency is 1. So 1 times 0 0.055 kilograms per meter squared second times 78.5 meters squared times 40. 3.7 times 10 to the third kilojoules per kilogram. Now we're getting a little messy here. Alright, 
So then our heat release rate is equal to 1 times 3.055 times 78.5 times 43.7 times 10 to the third. So that's 18. 8, 6, 75 kilowatts. And that's 188. It's about 188 megawatts. Which is a pretty big fire. So 10 meters. If we say 1 meter, so the question is, is this reasonable? Question. All right. So if one meter of gasoline is equal to 2.5 megawatts. So we knew we know we need to be on the order of megawatts. We need to be bigger than two and a half. We go to ten. It doesn't increase. It doesn't necessarily increase linearly or. Because if we, if we went from the area of one meter, which would be uh, pi over four times one squared, so pi over four times one is 0 0.7 to 78. So now we're we're 100 times larger. That would be where our area is 100 times larger, so this would be 250 megawatts. But we've reached some asymptotic mass flux rate, so we want to be less than that. So uh, we're, we're on the right order of magnitude, and we're sort of greater than one set point we know and less than sort of an upper limit. So is it reasonable? I'm going to say that it is. That's, I mean, the whole point of these upper reason, is it reasonable things is you take, try to try to bound the problem and say, I know it has to be bigger than this, I know it has to be less than this, and if it's somewhere in that range, then at least you're on the right order of magnitude. It may, there may still be an error, but it's not, you're, you're sort of checking 